Have you ever wished you had a 100 inch smart TV in your pocket? Well, if so, then the Nebula Capsule 2 from Anchor might be a great choice to consider. Measuring a bit bigger than a standard 12 ounce can, the Capsule 2 creates a 720p image up to 100 inches and will play video for almost 2 hours and 45 minutes before needing to recharge. And with its large variety of input options, the Capsule 2 can play media from most any device. Let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hi, this is Jordan with 9to5Toys. All of those features sound pretty incredible, right? Well, it does come at a cost, of course. The Nebula Capsule 2 is priced at $580, making it almost twice the price of its older version, the original Nebula Capsule. But you're getting a lot more capability out of the Capsule 2 in almost the same form factor. Let's start off with design and portability. Compared to a standard 12 ounce can, the Capsule 2 is just a bit larger, both wider and taller. Its cylindrical shape lets it pack easily into a bag though, and with the built-in battery and 8 watt speaker, it's an all-in-one solution that doesn't require anything extra to play media. On the top, we see arrow buttons, a centered selection button, back button, and volume up and down controls. On the back, we have the IR receiver, mode switch, and power button. Still on the back at the bottom, we have the variety of inputs, starting with a 3.5mm jack for audio out, a full-size HDMI jack for input, a USB-A port, and the USB Type-C port for fast charging. On the front we have the projector lens and a separate autofocus lens. There are a few different ways to control the Capsule 2 since it runs on Android TV software. Buttons on top of the unit, the included remote, and Nebula Connect app all enable control of the Capsule 2 to fit most situations. While the projector can be placed a minimum of 23 inches or a maximum of 121 inches to get a projected image from 20 to 100 inches, the suggested range for best results is placing the projector between 40 and 80 inches away from a surface. Obviously, the further the nebula is from the surface, the fuzzier and darker the image will appear. But this allows for a nice range of sizes depending on where you are projecting the image. Besides its impressive size and portability, the Capsule 2 has some great features as a projector. Resolution is 720p to give you an HD image, and it still feels sharp even when projecting up to 100 inches. I think part of the sharpness is thanks to the one second automatic autofocus. When the Capsule 2 is moved, it senses the movement and refocuses the image to the correct distance. This makes setup incredibly simple and mostly accurate. There were a few times that I thought it was a bit soft and prompted the projector to try readjusting by holding down the HDMI slash ATV button for a few seconds. Capsule 2 also has auto keystone correction to adjust itself to the angle of the projector, which I found to be very useful. It only works vertically, so the projector will still need to be squared up horizontally to the surface. The Capsule 2 packs 200 ANSI lumens, double what the previous generation capsule had. This bulb makes viewing in dark rooms or outside at night very easy. As soon as some ambient light starts to be introduced though, the image will start to look a little washed out. For the Capsule 2, the darker the room the better. Built into the Capsule 2 is an 8 watt speaker that delivers pretty decent sound. Good enough for most casual listening in a small area. There are sounds that they were gone, but they were just hibernating. You can also double as a Bluetooth speaker if you just want to listen to audio. But, if you want to beef up the sound a little bit more, the projector has a 3.5mm output to connect it to a larger stereo. The Smart TV in Your Pocket feature really comes from the Capsule 2's use of Android TV. This lets you download thousands of apps including many common ones like Hulu, HBO, and Twitch for viewing media. Using the buttons or remote to navigate logins can be annoying, but when you use the Nebula Connect app, you can use your phone as a mouse and also the keyboard to make inputs easier. One real bummer though is the lack of Netflix support like the other applications. There is a way to work around this, but the fact that it isn't a native application like the others is definitely a drawback. In addition to streaming apps, Android TV on the Capsule 2 also enables the use of Google Assistant. There's a button on the remote that you can hold to speak into the remote to make requests like play classical music, show me the latest season of Game of Thrones, and even control your smart home enabled devices like dimming the Philips Hue lights so you can watch a movie on the Capsule 2. Of course, there are other ways to play video on the Capsule 2. The HDMI port allows you to connect to computers, media players, or even gaming consoles. And additionally, the USB port supports playback from USB thumbsticks after downloading the ES Files Explorer app from the Google Play Store. As mentioned earlier, another way to control the Capsule 2 is the Nebula Connect app. 
In here, dragging the thumb around the center of the screen will act like a trackpad, making navigation a little bit easier. There are also buttons to go home, pull up the keyboard, and adjust volume. While playing music videos on YouTube, the Capsule 2 lasted for about 2 hours and 45 minutes before needing a recharge. That makes it pretty capable for viewing most movies without needing an extra boost in battery, but binging a series will definitely need some extra power. To get back up to a full charge took me a little over 2 hours. Overall, the Nebula Capsule 2 from Anchor is an extremely impressive little projector. The variety of inputs cater to many different locations and uses. The autofocusing 720p image was plenty sharp and bright in my opinion. Sound quality is okay, but if you find it lacking, there is the ability to output to a 3.5mm connection. The only real bummer is the lack of Netflix video without some weird workarounds. What do you think of the Nebula Capsule 2? Where would you use it? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.